Welcome to St Andrew's Presbyterian Warwell. I'm John Higgins and this is the next video in the series demonstrating the wonderful stops on this historic and heritage listed 1873 speech leaning room pipe organ. And now we come to the wonderful diapason stops, as it were the heart or the foundation of the organ. And they are particularly fine stops very much in the English style of sound. Now, often uh, these sounds are referred to as principles, but in the English school of organ viewing, they're usually referred to as open diapason. We have two wonderful diapason stops on this organ. Firstly, the open diapason on the swell and the same on the grate. Whilst they both have the same name and are both at eight foot pitch. They have very different character and volume, both unique and special in their own way. Perhaps my most favourite stop on the whole organ is the eight foot open diapason on the swell. Just listen to it demonstrated with this beautiful piece of music by Cesar Franck. such a perfect smooth warm sound the perfect balance between the string and flutes and very typical English sound I find it has so much character and emotion and even though it is relatively soft and delicate it is one of my favorite stops the eight foot open diapason on the grate is one of the most important stops on the organ that adds so much of the foundation and body to the great chorus. And I'll play the same excerpt uh, on the great organ so you can hear the difference in volume and character. For example, uh, Largo from Xerxes by George Frederick Handel, which if I add the 16 foot board on in the pedals, sounds something like this. A wonderful, warm, large, round sound. It's particularly a uh, great stop for accompanying the singing. Next, we move on to uh, the forefoot principles. So these stops are in the same family of the principles or diapasons. And on the swell, we have a forefoot gems horn, which is quite narrow scaled and tapered. So the top of the pipes are uh, tapered inwards and it gives it uh, quite a unique and edgy sound. On the grate, we have the wonderful four foot principle, which um, really carries the organ. It's such an important sound. It adds color, it adds volume and power and depth. So we'll look at uh, these, these stops in combination. So on the swell, the eight foot diapason four foot gems horn. We'll demonstrate that again with a wonderful excerpt uh, from Caesar Frank. Yeah. 
Well, unfortunately, because it is a fairly small English instrument, it isn't an overly large sound given that the swell box is at the rear of the instrument. And uh, particularly if there's a large congregation at church singing, uh, this particular chorus would struggle uh, to provide sufficient volume to accompany the singing. Uh, but it certainly does serve at times as a wonderful alternative chorus for some of the quieter verses of the hymns. Moving on to the uh, Great Division Chorus, the eight foot open diapason and four foot principal. Again, I'll demonstrate this with a, a wonderful excerpt uh, from Cesar Franck. And uh, you'll hear this beautiful, warm, strong uh, sound of the English foundation stops, the eight foot open diapason and four foot principle. Thank you. 